So the easiest way I can describe this is that a female and a male's hormones will always start to decline after a certain age. And everyone has heard about menopause, mm -hmm. but have you heard about andropause? No. No, so, right? So, so it's a stigma. Not a lot of people talk about it and not a lot of people test testosterone levels. So andropause is basically the male version of menopause. This is inevitable. You're going to go through andropause and I'm going to go through menopause. After the age of 30, your testosterone starts to drop by 1% to 3%. Andropause will happen at a different age for every man, just like menopause happens for a different age for, for women. It's when we stop our periods and our hormones start to decline. Same thing with men, your hormones will start to decline. With our testosterone replacement therapy program, we test your hormone levels out because there are so many men who go through their whole entire life without checking their hormones. It's not a normal thing for primary care to even look at. So that's where I come into play. I will check your hormones for you. I will see if you have low testosterone, if you have hypogonadism, which is low testosterone, what type of hypogonadism you have, what type of symptoms you have, and if you are a good candidate for TRT. The symptoms of low testosterone, it varies from client to client, but the big ones are obviously the fatigue and the lethargy, the low motivation, um, no desire to get out of bed to do things, hair thinning, um, low muscle mass, truncal obesity, depressed mood, and obviously sexual dysfunction, low libido. These are big deals. And these are topics that are taboo to talk about. Yeah. But that's a good thing because I like talking about them. خلينا نقول حدا يمكن عمل عند primary care أو إجا لعندك وعمل لفحوصات باللابس وطلع معه إنه عنده مزبوط إنه هيدا الهرمون منخفض. Mm -hmm. شو بتعملوا بهيدا الحالة؟ We obviously ask a thorough history of the patient. What are your symptoms? What is your medical history? Is there something that could be causing the testosterone deficiency? We also look at other hormones, DHEA, prolactin, and a couple of other things as well in your blood work to determine what best treatment options we have. Testosterone comes in many different uh, versions of ways we can give it. Obviously, the gold standard is injections. Oh. You could do it in the fat or the muscle. Okay. You can also do it by topical route, cream or gel. You could do it by oral route, by pill. You could do it by pellet therapy. Pellets are when you insert it underneath the skin. There's also a buccal option where you can put it inside of your inner cheek. The two ways that I like to offer it the most, because I know it's the most effective, is obviously injections and by topical route. <laughs> It works instantaneously, but like I previously said, everything good comes with time. 